Good morning, I'm Michael from Moat Monster Gaming, and if you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. So today I'm gonna to be opening two new Transformers Studio Series 86 figures. So based on Transformers the movie, they aim to capture as much likeness as possible to the fabulous cartoon film from the 80s. And here are Steeljaw and Bumblebee. So I'm gonna look at Steeljaw first and then I'll look at Bumblebee, so let's put them to one side. So Steeljaw goes from uh, a cassette tape, which we can see in here, to a uh, lion up there. So one of the Heroic Autobots comes with some extra bits and bobs, which we'll look at in a minute. Having a quick look at the battle, nice little picture on the side as always and having a look at the back transforms in six steps so fingers crossed should be super straightforward so popping it open these little ones I think work really well when they do the cassettes and what have we got here so instruction so quick look wow that looks easy looks straightforward enough and a couple more steps on the back and then here it is so again quite like the little background here but unfortunately not really one that i can display with so get some scissors so first of all this odd thing is actually one of blaster's weapons uh, from one of the later episodes in the animated series let's just put that to one side Still during cassette mode. And then this nicely little gift wrapped package. Let's hope it comes off okay. So let's see, what do we have? All tiny, tiny, tiny pieces. So we've got a little bit that I think is going to go on the top. Oh, and then more little weapony bits. So a quick look at the cassette. So yeah, straightforward enough. I will say it does not look like a audio cassette at all so it just looks like a blocky yellow square so that's very disappointing i suppose that's supposed to be the side because you can see the spindle reels but when you compare it to eject eject definitely looks more like a cassette than still jaw does and and you know what, it doesn't look anywhere near as much like a cassette as the uh, original G180s ones did because they actually had like metal foil printed on them in the, that made it look like a, an 80s cassette. So here's Blaster. So if I pop Blaster open, Steel Jaw should fit in actually. Oh, that's not good. Feels a bit snug. Feels way too snug. Feels like I'd have to force it. Okay, so have I done something wrong there or is it just a bad fit? So just to demonstrate, here is eject. And eject actually ooh, goes in quite nicely. But, I mean, the mechanism doesn't work as well as it could do, but I feel like I'm having to force steel jaw. Wow, not a good look when it's a, this is your premium line and it doesn't. Wow, no, not forcing it. Just have to display it without, not a good start. Well, I'll say this, they are actually quite a lovely figure to transform. So first of all, we peel the face out on both sides. And then actually we bring the face together to form the head. I quite like that. And then that moves up into the body. And then it's a matter of bringing the legs down. So back legs go down, front legs go down. This is a super easy six steps. Oh, squeeze that back. And then guns travel up. And actually that's it. So that is pretty swift. I do think the, the head, I know a lot of them now have this where the face is split in two halves, but I don't think it shows too badly. The guns on the side look nice. I like the color in like little Autobot logo there. And then this clips very nicely 
on the back and even clips in a little bit to the head as well. And there we have Steel Jaw. You know what? Okay, for all my grumbling about the cassette tape, I actually think Steel Jaw themselves looks quite good there. But there is actually more. So if I just pop that open, I can take these two bits. So these are the extra bits. So this will also go in Steel Jaw's back. This is Blaster's gun. And it should, I guess, clip on. It's a bit of a stiff clip, but it is in. And then this speaker will go on the back like so. And actually that clips in nicely. I think it looks a bit odd. I think I probably prefer Blaster using it as a weapon on their hand, which I'll have a look at in a minute. But actually, again, it's, it's not bad. And I do like the little extra bits that we get with the 86 figures. There we go, there is Steel Jaw. Now, looking at them with Blaster, this should, if I just peel this off, Blaster should be able to use this. So, what do we think? Go over one of the hands, like so. Look, there's a little notch inside and a little notch there. So, I imagine it's going to go, well, maybe not. Maybe it does. So there we go. We can give Blaster a weapon to fight Soundwave other than his rifle. So actually, they do look quite good. Absolutely tiny, but actually, it's a cassette. It should be tiny. Quickly transfer steel. Quickly transform eject as well. But then actually, they can. go little gang they just need to do the rest of them but what about bumblebee so here is bumblebee bumblebee already looks really good in the box don't have a g1 bumblebee so this makes it even more exciting even though g1 bumblebee was just a little tiny one transforms in 23 steps hope that is not the background because it's a bit boring if it's just unicron's belly but let's open it up and have a look so there's bumblebee and here is the background so really really plain i was hoping it was going to be a background of Moonbase 2 but instead we get a background of just inside unicron's belly Oh, let's move that to one side. Having a quick look, transforms in 23 steps. Looks straightforward enough. Some of the earlier ones I've complained about just because when I'm getting old, I tend to be a bit fingers and thumbs, but this looks like it's not gonna be too complicated. Clip them out. Oh, came out very nicely. And then attached on the back, we've got just the one weapon, I believe. Okay. Little silver gun. Really straightforward. So that's one side. Bumblebee, though, looks very, very cool. So I always think Bumblebee should be a bit smaller. So for comparison, that's uh, Hot Rod. Stands a lot smaller than Hot Rod. And actually... I'm pretty sure that these two should not be standing anywhere near as tall together. So I get that Bumblebee is a slightly smaller Transformer, but he should definitely be taller than Spike in his exosuit. I mean, he is taller than Spike in his exosuit, but he should be a lot taller than Spike in his exosuit. So I'm not quite sure on the scale of this. Pretty sure he's not supposed to come up to his elbows. Having a quick look. So Ah, it's not a good start. Legs come off. Fortunately, it will just clip back on. I, I think they look really good. I just think maybe they're a little bit too small. Um, colour's quite good, I like the yellow. The face, I think the face is solid. Got the, uh, they've got it now. I just think it's a bit small. Obviously, the original one was very, the G1 one was very small, but these are supposed to be keeping in scale with each other. I imagine imagine how small this bumblebee will look compared to Ultra Magnus. Anyway, 
transforming. Let's have a quick look. Okay, so I've had a quick play and actually I think they're quite straightforward to transform. So just having a quick look around at the sides, they, I think they look very, very good. Put gun in hand quickly as well. So yeah, it looks totally excellent. Can imagine posing them very nicely on the shelf with the rest of the studio series, but transforming them. So first things first, we've got to tuck the head away. So the front comes off and the head comes in, tucks all the way, and then you can cover the front. But then at the same time, you can bring the back bit up, cover the shell. Now then the wheels, let's do these bits first. So we tuck the arms up, then the wheels come out of the back and then we spin it around. Let's hope I've done this neatly enough so it doesn't pop out. And then the hands tuck back inside. Now you've got like these little notch bits that they clip into and then there's little notches on the wrists that oh, clip together. So that fits together fairly nicely. So that's the back done. Then the feet, I think this is different. Kind of you peel the bottom of the foot up and you have to tuck these little black bits in and then spin these out, but then fold the black bits back in. Then you have to start sort of rotating it in on itself. So let's see if I can remember this right. So I think it is, this bit goes in first. And the legs go forward. Let's hope the leg doesn't fall off again like it did a minute ago. Now I can, again, there's a little bit that juts, oh, a little bit that juts out there. So let's put that in. And then what do I do? I think I just fold it in. So let's go fold it like so. And then I'm going to say fold it again at like the knee joints. Oh no, leg came off. Now let's just clip that back on. One and two. I actually think, oh, give it a bit of a squidge to cover up the gaps. I actually think that Bumblebee looks quite good, solid in car mode as well. Though I have found that I've got a little bit of a gap that side. Doesn't seem to fit as snugly as this side. And I don't appear to have done anything different on the inside, even a little bit of a squeeze doesn't seem to get rid of said get there we go okay clipped in a little bit better so both times I transformed it was a bit of a squidge there in the middle and then a little bit at the back for the gun I think Bumblebee's fantastic I think Bumblebee is absolutely excellent they look great my only only complaint about the whole thing is it just feels off scale wise compared to the other vehicles uh, the other transformers both in vehicle mode and in robot mode but there we have um, my two new ones quickly retransforming and then display them on here quality when posed as bumblebee even better with spike thank you very much for watching take care Ugh. <sighs>